But another size up option for NBA 2K24 are the breakdown combos. With these, you can trigger up entire series of dribble moves by simply flicking the pro stick up once. Each player has a normal breakdown combo and an aggressive one. Pull down the sprint and flick the pro stick up for the aggressive breakdown combo. These are generally a little more explosive and create more movement to get your defender to shift. You can interrupt a breakdown combo anytime. Greetings, folks. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for our latest presentation of NBA basketball. And in our matchup tonight, we'll see the Dallas Mavericks going up against the Los Angeles Clippers. Two slam dunk champs, Grant Hill and Brent Berry, our analysts tonight. Brian Anderson here. We'll hear from Ali LaForce as well. So here's the Clippers starting group. We've got Kyle Kuzma. Tyler Hero is out there with Seth Curry. Then it's Yusuf Nurkic. And it's Nuora in at the power forward. And for Dallas, Marvin Bagley is out there with Laurie Markkinen. Then there's Drew Holiday. Then there's Robert Williams. And it's Branham in at the two. Well, Grant, we're still early on in the season here. But you feel like you've got a good sense of these teams yet? Absolutely no. I mean, it's too early right now to tell. Now, some teams are still kind of coming into their own. So I think we need a few more games before we get a real sense of who the contenders are this year. Nora. And it's Bagley with the rebound. And Dallas with possession. Holiday drives in. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. It goes on Seth Curry. You can see the determination from Holiday on that attack. Expecting contact there. And got it. down the first one and watch Drew Holiday Brent this guy is so tough physically and mentally NBA there's a lot of guys in the league that we say are underrated but the secret is out on Drew Holiday especially after the way he played in the NBA finals this guy is the best defensive perimeter player on the floor unselfish and what a great backcourt partner pass to Nora Kuzma for three it's rebounded by Dallas Bagley gets it to go. All the assist by Markkinen. Well, Bagley bringing it right now and taking his frame and presenting it for contact. On the wing, Curry. Let's go with a three. And again, it's the Clippers missing. It's an even three-on-three -three break. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. You've got to appreciate the consistency. Night in and night out. Brings it. And the call will be against Tyler Hero. That's his first foul. And this kind of selflessness is great to see. That's his textbook personal. positioning to draw the charge. And now just over a minute played here in the first. Holiday against Curry. Holiday passes to Williams. And the shot goes. They're locked in and focus on making each possession a success. That's exactly how they got the lead. They ended up having multiple possessions in a row with good quality shots. Knocked them down. And the game is fully in their control. Curry's shot is off. And that's exactly how you have to defend them on the perimeter. You can't allow any space. It's not easy to finish in traffic. But those are chances he has to convert. Kuzma for three. Here's Nurkic. Goes up and lays He's it in Nurkic. nice and easy. Yeah, when Nurkic goes across the lane there, hard to get him out of the way, and he collects the offensive rebound. To the wing, right side. It's deflected. Here's Williams. Out to Bagley. Fires the three. Rebound by the Clippers. And the first season matchup for them against the Mavericks this year. Talent-wise, they've got the upper hand. I mean, they won every matchup between these teams last year. Now here's Nurkic. And that one good. <laughs> Nurkic has got his second basket on the night. Well, weighing around 290 pounds, I'm not sure contact is really going to affect Nurkic. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. The Clippers trail. Hero on the wing. 4-3. And he buries his Tyler first Hero. look. And you could tell Tyler Hero has put some hours in shooting the rock. 
Well, if you're the Clippers, are you out looking for the next young star grant? Possibly, B.A. I mean, five of their top six scorers last year were over 30 years old. So they may need more production from your young guns to be a consistent contender. Here's Branham. In his last outing, he had 11 points. I saw a green light there. The D's not going to get away with that kind of lapse all that often here tonight. And stolen by Bagley. Markkinen with it. Nurkic picks him up. On the wing, Holiday. Let's it go from 14. Count that one. The more and more you play with your teammates, the more you're aware of where they are. And Larry Markkinen does a great job there. Pass to Kuzma. Back to Hero. On the wing, Curry. Now Hero. Kuzma for three. Here's Nurkic. Oh, and makes it with a kiss. Nurkic has got six. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. And Dallas calls time here. And things are always changing throughout a game. Teams have to adjust on the fly. And timeouts are a wonderful opportunity to just settle in and recollect the thoughts of your entire team. Not just the guys playing, but the entire team. The Clippers making a switch here. Duran, he's checked in for Yusuf Nurkic. Boucher comes in for Nora. Diallo's checked in for Kuzma. And it's Dorte in for Hero. The Clippers shooting just 36% here in the first quarter. Curry passes to Duran. Oh, a rim-rattling two-handed jam! That one rocked this arena! That's the kind of dunk right there that makes you think he's going to rip down the rim. The Mavericks leading. Here's Reeves. Got a hand on it. Here's Duarte. On the wing, Curry. Diallo outside. Hey, from beyond the arc. And Reeves pulls it down. Dallas has gone 0 for 2 from outside. The pull up. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. And it's time to give you a look at the top three-point shooting teams from a year ago. The Clippers third. Everything clicked for them last year, especially on the perimeter. And they shot a very high percentage. A lot of that due to their offensive schemes. That free throw misses. And he sinks the second. So it's the Clippers now. Trailing by two. They come into this one following a loss to Brooklyn. In this league, you have to stay active at both ends of the floor. I thought their lackluster defense was the difference in the game. Now you can't allow any opponent to shoot that kind of percentage. If you do, it's just going to be so tough to keep up. Getting First enough shots in close to play inside out. At the line for the Clippers, here one shot. And that one drops. So now they lead by one. Talk about solid debut games. How about Jalen Duran's intro to the, to the league in 2022? Yeah, welcome to the NBA. I thought this was supposed to be a step up in competition, man. And Duran goes out there and does it. Double-double on his first outing. And that's how you like to arrive. Announce yourself to the NBA, young know, fellow. So a moment now to see the story for Kyle Kuzma. Second team foul. Shooting for the Clippers, Chris Duarte, taking two shots. First one falls for him. Good on both. At this point, you might as well go ahead and chalk up the points when he's at the free throw line. Pretty much automatic. Pass to Young. Over Boucher. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. Well, he wanted to keep that shot from getting blocked, but in the process, he gave it no chance of going in because of how unbalanced he was on the fade. They get it back. Here's Duran. Off target at the rim. That's the only kind of defense that's going to cut the mustard here tonight. You got to stay on top of a guy like that who can play at such a high level offensively. A minute six left now in the first quarter. Curry 
great passes to Diallo. And it's good. Probably Assisting on the play was Curry. The Mavericks trailing. Here's Reeves. Drives to the hoop. The rebound by Diallo. <laughs> the way they've gotten after rebounds has been impressive. On the wing, Curry. Out to the wing. Here's Boucher for three. Oh, Dallas drew the foul, foul and almost that hit the three-point bucket. But he'll head to the line for three. Foul. Hey, nice work That's with tracking the, the foul from deep. Chris he'll Boucher. shoot three. Back in 2017, two-way contracts started in the NBA. Created more opportunities, Greg. The B.A. Chris Boucher signing one of the first two ways back in 2017. I mean, he was a huge success story for this system. Chris signing a big contract during the 2022 free agency period. And the Clippers making a change here. Hayes is checked in. And the second free throw is good. And he can't make it three for three. Dallas has gone 0 for 2 from outside. Inside, Young, after missing his first attempt, now 1 for 2. Always fun to look at. Not tremendously efficient, but the floater, boy, those sure are pretty. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Diallo on the wing, fires for three, buries it. He's All 2 for 4 in this game. And three. they've quickly gathered eight second-chance points thus far. The Mavericks shooting the rock around 41% during the first quarter. Here's Branham. Up again. And it's going to be a goaltending call here. So they will count the bucket. I mean, he had the right idea. But his timing was just a little off. And it resulted in a goaltender. Here's Curry. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. Diallo on the wing. He shoots a three. Unable to get that one. No shortage of scoring here at the end of the first quarter. Clippers ahead, up five. Don't go away. We'll be back with the second quarter in just a moment. Just joining us, we played through one quarter of action so far. And before we move on, what do you think about what we've seen from the Clippers? They're getting a big contribution from the bench already. Yeah, looking for a spark here, and the coach tapped the right guys to get out there and provide it. And so Hero will bring it up for the Clippers. Leading by five, their next game playing at home as the Grizzlies come to town. And that's a one-game homestand for the club. They've got Marvin Bagley, Drew Holiday out there with Terrence Mann. Then it's Laurie Markkinen, and it's Williams in at the five. That's the lineup out there for the Mavericks. And rejected! Kuzma outside. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. Here's Markkinen. It's hauled in by the Clippers. Here's Kuzma. Ooh, good D by Bagley. Hard to convert against that kind of defensive pressure. Those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets out there and contests, and that's just enough. You know, all the way to the bucket, no resistance. Just swipe the candy from him. To the inside. The rebound by Mann. It's not his best night from the field, but looking for other ways and finding them so he can chip in. And Grant, some players feel like certain officials have it out for them. Did you ever see any of that? You know what, B.A., the refs are human too. Yes, I did say that. <laughs> but they're supposed to be impartial. So if you go after them for a while, it's possible they will hold a grudge. Pass to Diallo. Shot clock at six. Hero for three. He's off on that one. Great job of closing the space and getting a hand up. Yeah, as good as you can do without getting a block there to defend. 
Outside Holiday fires from deep, drains the triple. Holiday's got five points in the quarter. Yeah, Drew aggressive there, right? You could see committing to that shot, looking more than happy to rise up and fire. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. And the other team is running all over them right now. The timeout before the timeout here, maybe just to cut off the momentum and have a chit-chat with the team to settle down. Branham's checked in for the Mavericks. Duran, he's checked in for the Clippers. Nora comes in for Hayes. Baseline try. Here's Williams. Oh, he gets it to go. Williams strong inside. Making the most of that possession. Unwilling to give up on the play. Diallo outside. Kuzma for three. And the Clippers miss again. I just have not seen him shoot this poorly, guys, in a game this season. Won't see him miss that one too many times. Yeah, that happens. Important thing is for players, just don't beat yourself up and make a miss like that cost you another play. Assistant. No need to risk a shot from range when you can take it inside. The Mavericks have gotten four of their first nine shots to go here in the second. Holiday passes to Williams. Outside Bagley. Here's Branham. Deflected! And how about Kuzma? The defensive energy he showed to get to that block. Quarter number two and around three minutes gone by. Here's Branham. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And even from where we're sitting, you could clearly tell it was a foul. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going so far for the Mavericks. They've made an effort to get out and run, using their speed and transition and scoring before the defense can get set. They've also done a great job of taking turnovers and producing out of that, working really hard that they're not wasting extra chances that they're creating. And he can't hit the second. Los Angeles has gone 0 for 4 from beyond the arc here in the second quarter. Here's Diallo. And he gets it to fall. 3 for 8 in this one. I don't know if you would consider this, but he's got such a nice touch around the rim. Maybe you foul him there? And what makes Tyler Hero so dangerous, Brent, is his ability to catch fire from range. Yeah, I would say, Grant, sometimes it's an inferno with Tyler Hero, the way he can get it going. I mean, he can rain down threes. He's got a pull-up game. He can get quickly into double digits. Now here's Hero. And Kuzma, the bucket, on the assist by Hero. Tyler Hero. Hero's got three assists tonight. Good job by Tyler just finding the open teammate and showing some good awareness. Here's Williams. Now Bagley. Pass to man. Six on the shot clock. Outside Holiday. Puts up a three. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. Duran's got five rebounds in the game. Here's Nora. Hero, left side. And stolen by Holiday. Can't hit that one. We'll have a hard time shaking that one off. Perfect position, plenty of space. Just planked it. Hero. Here's Duran. Holiday grabs the miss. Gotta appreciate the aggressive defense he brings. Well, it's about the defensive end, and that's what guys feed off. He gives the effort down there at all times. And the basket by Branham. Branham's got his third basket of the night. Well, an outstanding floor general right there. Holiday has switched between point guard and off guard in a great field for when guys are open. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk over. Trying anything now to get them out of this slump. Well, they can't find the net right now, and all they need, I think, is just to get one to go, get back on track. Now here's Curry. No main baskets yet. Stolen by Young. Here's Branham. Powered down after the assist led him to the lane. And that's got to hurt. The turnover for a free run at the rim. And now we know who has the momentum. 
execution with pace. That's a bad turnover. And it simply was telegraphed. I love great defense. Just quick to establish his feet, and he takes the hit. Here's Reeves. He's covered by Curry. The shot by Reeves, no good. And so it's Curry with it. He brings it up for the L.A. Clippers. Pass to Duran. Back to Curry. Boucher with it. It's Dorte on the wing. Shot clock at five. Gets his second attempt to go. Now he's one for two. They have no answer defensively inside. It's Reeves with the drive. Here's Collins. He's off on the layup. The Clippers trail. There's 57 seconds left to play in the second quarter. Here's Duran. Sinks that one from the post. Duran's got seven. These teams have really gone back and forth. <laughs> yeah. Five lead changes already. This one's going to be a battle for sure. Pass to Collins. Marking it outside. Duran with a rebound. Duran's got nine rebounds now. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Curry, that's good. Dallas has gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. Here's Markkinen. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. They're getting cold in here. This, this is a tough one. Crucial that he starts to work a little harder for a higher percentage shot. Through the first half of play here at what's been a good one. Clippers ahead, up three. And we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out there for the start of the third quarter, right after the break. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, everyone, to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Some big time action already in this one. I'm Ernie Johnson, along with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. A pretty close game for the Clippers throughout the first quarter. They did lead by as many as seven points in the first period. They didn't stop fighting in the second quarter as they maintained most of their first quarter lead and now lead by three at the break. And taking a look at the Clippers, Kenny, what did you see out there? The bench unit was an essential part of the puzzle in the first half. They really stepped it up in a big way, and that helped out. And now the starters can appreciate not having to carry the load on their own. And uh, Shaq, what did you see from Dallas? It was pretty simple. They took care of the ball. They made small passes and limited turnovers. I'm sure they talked about it coming into time. We'll see if they can keep it tight in the second half, though. That's all for now. Say goodbye to the folks. Thanks goodbye, for folks. joining us. Third quarter, just about ready to begin. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. Man, we've seen Drew Holiday really having a great game. Through two quarters of play, he's been an excellent source of points. Yeah, he's, he's shouldering the load right now and looking really comfortable while he's doing it. Here's Hero. Checking out the group for Ty Lu to start the second half. Tyler Hero is out there with Seth Curry. Then it's Yusuf Nurkic. Then there's Kyle Kuzma. And it's Nuora in at the four. Their defense just falls apart once the ball goes inside. Here's Holiday. And that one drops for him. Holiday's got 11 points. Killing them softly there. Holiday with the floater over the top. And that puts the D in a tough Yusuf spot. Nurkic. And he gets it to go. Goes to Impressive. Tyler Their ball Hero. movement has been excellent tonight. Holiday passes to Williams. Bagley with it. Outside Holiday. Beyond the arc. He nails it. That's his fifth make in 11 tries. Yeah, can we do away with the underrated part of what Drew Holiday brings to the table? Man, he's capable. Pass to Kuzma. Hero for three. 
They grab their own miss. Shot by Nurkic, no good. Kuzma against Markinen. Oh, Markinen, good in the paint. Combine Markinen's size and that soft touch. It makes him a constant threat inside the painted area. That's why they call him the finisher. Hero, the pass to Kuzma. Back to Nurkic. Here's Nora on the wing. Curry from behind the arc. That's tipped. That's a tough rebound if you don't have the length that he does. So the size paying off. Markinen, the pass to Williams. Holiday against Curry. Fade away. Here's Williams. Robert Williams. One tough customer right there. When it's this close, every bucket matters. You need good looks. To the middle. It's stolen by Holiday. And a fast break now. The Mavericks on the run. Market it for three. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Holiday. He's got his fourth assist in this one. Well, it's not a secret that Markkanen can stroke it from long distance, and that ability, it's going to help open up the floor for his teammates. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. Yeah, you can't make any excuses right now for them giving the ball up as much as they have in this one. Hopefully they can get on the same page during this timeout. The Mavericks making a switch here. Mann's checked in. Hayes is checked in for the Clippers. Diallo comes in for Curry. Now here's Diallo. Give him eight points now. Hayes, the pass to Hero. Just five on the clock. The Clippers got a hurry. Late clock here. Will it go? It's rebounded by Dallas. <laughs> they are really struggling to stop this run. Frustration seems to be mounting here, and you can see not just in their faces, but right now in their quick and hurried shot selection. And that was just moving the ball quickly. And he's rewarded at the end with a high percentage look. Yeah, the defense trying to do their best to slow him down. But when he gets room like that, you got to look out. And the Mavericks with possession here. After the Clippers picking up a basket just a moment ago. Hayes against Bagley. Holiday surveying the floor. Market it for three. That one doesn't drop. Would you say testing the limits of his range there? Well, I thought they played smart, and then all of a sudden it was maybe a little too flashy there, and that, uh, that's unfortunate. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Here's Holiday. That one falls. Holiday's got 16 points now. I don't think this is a conditioning issue, but they look like they've lost their legs here in the second half. Pass to Kuzma. Hero against Holiday. Now here's Diallo. He puts up a three. It's rebounded by Dallas. Man's got four rebounds now. Here's Markkanen. Kuzma with the defensive effort. Got to appreciate the aggressive defense he brings. Well, it's about the defensive end, and that's what guys feed off. He gives the effort down there at all times. Wouldn't surprise me to see him find his touch and still be a factor. Don't count them out yet. Not sure which clips they watched at halftime, but he has figured out how to attack the D, and they kept him in check in the first half. He's flipped it. Now here's Kuzma. Buries it from three. He's got five. Well, Kuzma loves that corner shot. It just works for him. And Dallas calls time here. You could really see his squad with losing steam. Smart timeout to give them a breather. And the Mavericks with some changes. Collins, he's checked in for Williams. Young comes in for Bagley. And Reeves is subbed in for Holiday. The Mavericks have gone 7 of 10 here in the second half. Man, the pass to Collins. Here's Reeves. Market it up top. Defended by Kuzma. And he'll take a trip to the line for two. Clearly got fouled on that shot. And the foul goes against the Clippers. Well, Markkinen putting his size to use there. The defense has nothing to do but the foul. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Mavericks. Just a great job running the floor in transition. Now, he realized they were tiring out the defense early, and they took full advantage. And another difference maker that we could point to tonight has been second chance points. They've been in there. They've had active hands. They've been in great position. And they've been smart attacking the offensive glass.
Well, a big fellow with the ability and confidence at the free throw line is something that every team wants. Don't have to make those late substitutions. Keep your big guys on the floor. Really left him alone that time. Kuzma's got five points in the quarter. That's the kind of passing you want there. Work the ball around, keep it moving, try to get an assist on every button. Here's man. Collins. And out of bounds. Los Angeles will have it. Branham's checked in for the Mavericks. Branham. Los Angeles has gone just one of five from three-point range here in the third quarter. Kuzma outside. Stolen by Collins. And now the Mavs on the run. Here's Branham. Drops in the three. Branham's got 12 points. And when it comes to the three, they've been really dialed in here in the second half. Diallo on the wing from deep. Rebounded by Branham. It's clear he's totally out of sync. The team needs to rethink his strategy around what to do with him. The Clippers have gone 6 of 13 to open up this second half. Pass to Duarte. Oh, a beautiful reverse layup. He's got six. His nimbleness makes him a unique threat at the rim. Dallas has gone 3 of 4 from outside in the second half. Out left to the wing. Here's Branham. No good on the triple. The Clippers trail. Dorte, pass to Duran. Now Boucher. Pass to Dorte. And here's Diallo. Kuzma for three. Tries again. And the layup is up and in. A hard work on the offensive glass. You can see the coaching staff rise up and clap for that effort. Five-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Here's Reeves. Kicks it out to Markkinen. Collins outside. Clock at six. Count it. Collins has got the second bucket on the night. More and more confidence being shown right now as Zach Collins sinks that shot. Here's Duran. Excellent D there from Collins. And as we finish the third quarter, it's still close. Both teams trading buckets. Mavericks ahead, up by three. And we're coming right back. Be sure to stay with us as we get set for quarter number four. All right, let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. That's what great passing will do for you right there, dissecting the defense with that play. What a terrific game it's been so far. With this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. Zach Collins out there with Marvin Bagley. Then it's Laurie Marketing. Then there's Drew Holiday. And it's Reeves in at the two. That's the lineup out there for the Mavericks. They get it again. Collins. And Nurkic with the block. Nurkic seeing an opportunity there to make the impact defensively with the block. Nora pass to Boucher. That shot off. Ooh, good D by Bagley. Seth and Seth Curry is going to pick up the foul. First team That's his third foul so far. Williams has checked in for Collins. Robert the Mavericks leading. Here's Reeves. And the layup falls. Can't ask for a better look with the game in the balance. And so Hero will bring it up for the LA Clippers. Carries it down low. Hero sticking with it through contact. That's not easy. The Mavericks have gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Here's Reeves. He's guarded by Hero. Shot is good by Reeves. And the Mavericks lead by five. When you use it right, the pump fakes as effective a move as there is. 
Curry passes to Hero. Back to Curry. Pass to Boucher. Now Curry. He's covered by Holiday. Here's Hero. And Reeves pulls it down. For Dallas, they've gotten half of their attempts to fall in the fourth. Two for four now. The shot by Holiday, no good. The Clippers shooting 40% so far in this one. Here's Hero. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Curry. Curry's got three assists in the game. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Now here's Holiday. To the left wing. Bagley for three. Nails it from beyond the arc. How about that, Bagley? Stretching the floor out a little bit, and this is going to make the offense really tough to guard. Curry drives in, and the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Robert Williams picks up one. And if you're looking for a knockdown shooter from distance, look no further than Seth Curry. Well, not many guys have hit over 40% from three for their careers. And Seth Curry is in that exclusive club. And as a huge bonus, he protects the basketball and doesn't turn it over. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. The Mavericks have got three of six shots to go in this fourth quarter. Pass to Williams. Now here's Bagley. Outside Holiday. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Markkinen. And Boucher with the block. Down low. Here's Curry. Ooh, the lead pass was in the perfect spot to set up the layup. Curry's got four points now in the quarter. And just great intensity down the stretch. I mean, he really wants to rock with the game on the line. Now take a look at him. Locked in right now in this moment. Wants the ball in his hands and feels real comfortable with the shot he's taking. And Dallas calls time here. Let's give Coach credit. He's trying to find a way to squeeze the most out of every possession. You've got to feel good as a coach if you make all those adjustments. Pull the right strings. That's what they love to do. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. Hey, guys. I was able to catch the message that Jason Kidd was giving to his team. Coach was blunt with his assessment. He said to throw out everything that happened until now. It is a brand new game, and it's only a few minutes. Leave it out on the floor. Back to you guys. As always, Allie, we thank you. Hero with the bucket. Well, that equals his three-point total from the first half. He had one before the break, and that's his first three of this half. Stolen by Hero. Up the floor. And Boucher, the bucket, on the assist by Hero. And the Clippers lead by one. Tight ball game coming down the stretch. Yeah, with seven lead changes thus far, this has been a thriller. Bagley passes to Williams. Outside Holiday. Here's the floater. Good on the bucket. Holiday's got nine points now in the second half. Oh boy, the touch is coming back here in the second half. Percentages from the field much better than it was at the break. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. And now we present our new balance player of the game, Drew Holiday. And I just love to see a player who plays with an aggressive mindset. I mean, he had the energy and the intensity all game. He didn't waste any time when he had his chances out there by attacking the rim. Branham's checked in for Reeves. And the Clippers making a change here as well. Kyle Kuzma, he's checked in for Boucher. Now here's Hero. Back to Curry. To the right side. Shot clock at five. Kuzma, left side. No good with the triple. Dallas has got five of 11 threes to drop so far in this game. Holiday against Curry. Rebounded by Kuzma. Kuzma's got five rebounds in the game. And that basket makes him five for ten. Steady production so far. And now almost all their points coming from the paint. Holiday against Curry. It's Williams. High post. Oh, Nurkic with the block. Curry with it. 
Guarded now by Holiday. Curry passes to Nora. Fires it. Hero, no good. The defender takes away his space and any chance of him making that shot. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Outside Holiday. Here's Bagley. That one goes in. And the Mavericks lead by one. Love watching Bagley getting confident in big possessions. Hero outside. Curry passes to Hero. Kuzma for three. Holiday grabs the miss. Holiday's got four rebounds now. Pass to Bagley. It's Markin and on the wing. Brenham. He's guarded by Hero. Shoots off the step back, and the Mavericks getting another bucket right there. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. And Drew Holiday gets first, the whistle first, that five. time. Second that's his first five. foul. These calls can be so difficult for officials to make. Pass to Curry. The three is up. Second shot opportunity. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Second personal foul. Huge spot here. Nurkic at the line. Now, let's see if he can deliver. Oh, the first of two, no good. A heartbreaker. That's good. Going one of two from the line. And that brings him within two here. And they need to play good defense here. That trip to the line helped and hurt. Grant, they'd love to milk the clock here. No question. They're in a great situation right here. Markkinen. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Now, Laurie Markkinen might not qualify as a big guy that you want to hack in a clutch situation. Markkinen very consistent as a free throw shooter. And he cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. And he ends up making the second. And that makes it a three-point lead. Markkinen is a confident free throw shooter, but can he shoulder the pressure of the moment? Hero on the wing. Launches it. Cash! Oh! An enormous three-pointer! There is absolutely no fear in his eyes. He loves the moment. I've seen that there. A huge possession, and he nets it. And Dallas calls time here. It's all tied at 72. And we've got 28 seconds left in the game. Here's Markkinen into the lane. Rebounded by Nurkic. And it's Nurkic with the ball for Los Angeles. Pass to Nora. Hero for three. And can he get it on in time? Counts at the buzzer. That's a feel good. Oh, wow. The winner at the buzzer. It doesn't get any better. Man, I'm just blown away. Absolutely as clutch as you can get. People are going to be talking about that shot for a long time. So it's the Clippers taking the W in a close one. With the late victory, they upset plenty of these hometown fans. They really should take this win to heart. When the pressure was on, they stepped up and worked twice as hard to overcome it. All right, now let's check in with Ali LaForce. Ali, what do you have? Tyler, we know you are never shy. What gives you that confidence to let it fly when the pressure is on? Uh, I like taking the big shot. Uh, my teammates, my coaches, they all trust me, put me in the right spots. And I, sometimes I make a couple big shots here and there. Well, you give them a reason to trust as well. Congratulations. Thanks, Allie. Great interview once again. And that'll wrap it up, folks.
So alongside Grant Hill, Ali LaForce, Brent Barry, and our entire 2K crew, I'm Brian Anderson saying thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.